In Revit, we have to worry not only how the model looks like in a 3D view, but also how it will be shown on the uh, floor plans and elevation views or sections. And this is because Revit is uh, a, a program application for creating a documentation, building documentation also, and we need to keep the standard of our objects intact. For example, if we have too many lines in the family, in the model, this can look very messy on the printouts. So we need to take care of it by going back to the family editor. And when I select object in the visibility settings, we have the whole section for displaying in uh, particular views, like front, back, left, right, which are elevations. When cut, and also plan and RCP, which is reflected ceiling plan. So, uh, because uh, when I'm in, a, in this uh, project and I placed this window, it's shown now as a, a cut family. You see the view range is 1200 and this is 800 seal height. So now it's being cut. So if I want to disable visibility, which usually is done in the families, I just simply select them and uncheck here and here. The same for the seals and for this one. And of course, handle. Let's load it back into the project and override the existing version. Okay, the window pane left for me to hide it. So I will also uncheck the visibility settings when cut. Okay, now we have just an opening. So what we would do, we will replace the model with lines. And uh, for this purpose, we use lines called symbolic lines. Here is the draw uh, board and we have su uh, subcategories already presented in this template. So let's say we want to draw something as in a window cut style. This is, this is just a, a line styles basically. But in the, the square brackets, uh, they, mm, they show us, tell us uh, in which views uh, these lines are visible. So if we want to draw something uh, as a projection line, we would use something that has projection in the square brackets. If we want to draw something in a cut view, we search for, for this subcategory. So let's, for example, select frame mullion as cut and now draw something here. You need to also lock this uh, lines to the to the G, 3D G, uh, geometry. So it matches, for example, the frame width, frame height and the position inside of the window. And now let's draw another lines. Again, annotate symbolic lines. This time maybe simply as a window cut category. Okay, I don't know why it didn't snap here, but I will make sure it does. Again, Mm. There was some small hiccup there, which I fixed. Again, there is a lot of path locks already there. And here, another one. Okay. So if I turn on preview, now you I see how it will look like in a 2D uh, floor plan. So I will load it back into the project, override the existing version 
and change it to hidden line. Hidden line is the most common setting for the printouts. So this is how it basically will look like. This is much more clean version of the of the window. Still in 3D it looks everything the same. But now, for example, in a when I switch the position of the window inside inside of the wall, it looks very clear and correctly. Let's check uh, what will happen if I change, for example, the frame width to something smaller, like 50. You see, the symbolic lines also follow the geometry right now. You can do the same settings for the elevation view, like left, right, interior, exterior, and adjust the visibility settings accordingly. But I will leave it up to you what you will do with it. For example, I would probably resign from showing mm, these window seals. They're creating additional lines, so I would uncheck the visibility in the front back view. Front back is exterior interior, so in this case, so here also visibility settings uncheck front back okay and now when I'm in the in the elevation view here they will not be visible right This one actually is, I don't know why. So, front back, okay, front back should be unchecked. I probably checked the wrong one. Let me go back and test it again. Yeah, now it's not visible. The same, uh, usually, such small details like sh handles are unchecked in all the views so and they are only visible in a 3d view in a fine level because let's be honest we don't need them that much to show on uh, standard documentation 